We turn our attention to college hoops. North Carolina back in the national semifinals after that last second loss to Villanova in last year's title game. Roy Williams was asked how that loss will affect this year's team. Here's what he said. I have it sensed uh, that our team has many thoughts in a negative manner about what happened last year except for the final outcome. And we use that as fuel to motivate us over the summer to work harder. And we haven't made it uh, uh, openly with coach's advice. We haven't made it our, our uh, mantra that we're all standing around holding hands, chanting, you know, 4.7 seconds or anything like that. So uh, the kids know about it. Uh, even the freshmen, I said, hey, you didn't have anything to do with it. Just be excited. And uh, the older guys tried to tell them to be excited about it as well. But you're right. I mean, it's uh, a heartache that uh, you can't erase. It's always going to be there. Roy Williams, ninth appearance on this stage. The other three coaches have three combined. How big of an advantage do you think that is for Williams and his team? A big one. Um, and it, it goes beyond whenever your coach has experience, I think that helps, but it's still the guys that got to play and the players in the jerseys that are going to really dictate the outcome of the game. Literally everyone on this Carolina team was there. I mean, Luke May really didn't get much time, and he wouldn't benefit from actual playing time in last year's Final Four, but basically everyone else, this is one of the few teams that, you know, is not really fueled or aided by, by a freshman. All these guys were there. Justin Jackson, Joel Berry, Meeks, Hicks, everyone, Pinson. So I think it's interesting to hear Roy say that because you can kind of go one way or another – you could go the route of making it a mantra and kind of putting it up on the bulletin board day one and and getting revenge for it, or you ignore it, even though it's impossible to ignore it, and you know deep down it's going to drive the team, even if you don't say it. It's sort of the unspoken motivation, the unspoken uh, drive to, to make up for what happened last year and kind of get redemption for the heartbreak of last year. And it's not something you have to speak about to – to motivate the team. And, and, you know, you could ask to a man, I'm sure if you talk to Jackson or Barry or Meeks or, or Hicks, they would all tell you, especially if they make good and they win it all, then you'll really get the answer and they'll be like, I couldn't yeah, sleep for a week. I thought about it out. every night before I went to bed. <laughs> yeah. It drove me. Uh, extra reps in the weight room, extra foul shot practice. I wanted to make good on last year. And they have an up 